Hi, I'm Tabitha James Cran, the Organic Hairdresser. This month we're doing a Q&A and we're answering a lot of your valued questions and we've had some great questions coming in about the dry shampoo, but one that keeps reoccurring is which one do I need? So I want to just explain to you the difference between the two versions of the dry shampoo. So essentially the product inside is exactly the same in both products. That's the first thing to know. And I would say in terms of which one you need, it would depend on how much you're going to use the product. If you're a really heavy user of dry shampoo and you want something that you can use um, in larger quantities so that you can really volumize your hair, then the shaker would definitely be the right one for you. The basis of that thinking is that really the more you use of this dry shampoo, the bigger your hair will go. So it's a really great way of volumizing and padding out the hair. If you've got finer hair, but also with long hair or you've got a nice blow dry and you just want to really kind of set it and make it fuller, then the dry shampoo is a really great way of doing that without having to use a sticky hairspray, for example. So this dry shampoo, you'd use it um, in the morning before you get dressed. And if you wake up in the morning and you're in a rush and your hair is really quite greasy and you absolutely haven't got time um, to wash your hair that day, then this is perfect as a product because you can really properly dry clean the hair and have it feeling really clean and fresh again, ready to go without wet washing, which is a huge asset. So you'd be applying plenty of it really in at the roots and you'd be lifting up and giving you a lot more kind of lift away from the roots and taking away that greasy shine at the roots. Um, you could also use this, as I said, to big up the hair if you're going day into night, but the hair's maybe a bit flat during the day. You could use this one to um, really sort of fill out and pad out the hair to make it fuller for the evening. So when would I use the compact? Well, the compact is a travel size. That's one great thing about it. It's really easy to have in your handbag. It's also a beautiful thing to have in your handbag. I wanted to make this very covetable and something to look beautiful, almost like, you know, in the, in the 50s, women used to powder their nose. So this is for when you're powdering your hair and really getting fabulous results on the go. This is great if you've got a fringe because fringes can get flat and they can get a little bit you know, oily at the roots and start to get that shine maybe by the end of the day or on day two. So to be able to zap and spray this into the roots and just lift up your fringe is a really great solution. Um, it's, the way this works is it's a pop-off lid and it just sprays the powder. One little tip, if it's not spraying the powder really positively, you get a nice big, um, thrust of the powder coming out there, just give it a little tat because all that's happening is the powder sitting in the bottom of the, me the mechanism. So give it a little tap and you'll get a nice strong spray and that's what you're looking for. And then you can just literally spray into your root and shake in and you're good to go. If you're using the um, shaker dry shampoo, and as I said, I do this in the mornings before you get dressed, there are several different ways you can use it. So if you sprinkle some onto your hand, you can literally go straight into the root and you'll see the volume as I'm applying it just start to fill out straight away because it just pads the hair beautifully and you can get more in quickly. So they, there is a really good way, you can see the difference on both sides now, a really good way of um, getting that in. Another way to apply it would be to go directly onto your brush. So if you sprinkle it a little onto the brush, and then you can just flip that in. And if you've got maybe a shiny root at the sides, you can just use it there just to zhuzh into that root and lift it up. So hopefully that's explained how to use the two different versions, remembering that they're both the same, but just easy ways of um, using them independently.